Playing Red Matter convinced me that it was time to switch to Unreal. The only catch? I'll only have 24 hours to dive into the engine and attempt to make a VR game. I'll be discussing what I liked, what I didn't like, and if Unreal Engine is going to be here to stay as my platform of choice. As a Unity developer, you always kind of look over at our neighbors of Godot and Unreal and go, I wonder what they're like. Going down my laundry list of endless VR games that I need to play, and Red Matter finally popped up. So I hopped in and I was pretty blown away by the entire experience. The level of detail, the physics, the environment itself, and the lighting. If you know me, you know I love lighting in games. And Unreal Engine does have some of these spiciest lights out there. 24 hours isn't a lot of time, but at least should be enough time for me to dip my toe in, and also I kind of work better under pressure anyways. Installation seems easy enough, just a few clicks and I should have this installed. Creating a project looks like I got a virtual reality template. I don't know what blueprints are, but I do know what C++ is, and you know what? I don't feel like programming in it right now. I think I'll just name my project something like Shrimp VR? Yeah, it's good enough. Quick UI tutorial at 2x speed. It looks like it moving around is pretty similar to Unity. Using WASD, I can scroll in and out. This all looks pretty normal. Looks like I can add things to the project like that. This starting off VR template is pretty nice. We got a gun here. Now, I wonder how this gun works. I'm gonna try hitting edit blueprint. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I mean, I know it is visual scripting. I've just never really done visual scripting outside of what shader graph, I guess you would say, is visual scripting. So uh, I'll be able to figure this out, I think. The way rotation works in Unreal is way, way better. It looks like the content drawer is the same as the project folder in Unity. The only annoying thing is it kind of closes every time I click the scene. I'm sure there's a way to fix it, but I do not have time for that right now. Playing with the real-time directional lighting here, man, the lighting in this is not disappointing. It looks fantastic. After spending about two hours just getting used to the navigation and figuring out the UI, I'm gonna give the installation, the VR template, and the UI a solid nine out of 10. Not bad. That whole process seems pretty simple to hop over to if you are a Unity developer. I think it's time to get a concrete idea of what game I wanna make. And I have a gun here, so let's do a zombie shooter. Super original. I'm sure no one's ever thought of it before. And yeah, with all that time I have left, I think I'm going to look for some free assets, learn how to import things, and see if I can get some zombie models going. I wanna point out that Unreal actually has a starter asset bundle that you can bring into your project. You don't even have to go to the Unreal store or anything. You just add it in and look at all these nice things they have. We have nice materials that we get to play with, some props, shapes. We have really cool audio, and that is just all these starter assets. Hey, Unreal, uh, that is pretty cool. I need some zombie models, so let's see if the Unreal store has anything that's free. It's not looking good. Oh, I'm a genius. Of course I already bought the Polygon zombie pack. Good job, me. To import it, let's see, I unzipped it, and then let's see if I just click this. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's gonna open up its own project. All right, well, that's okay. All right, I'll just try dragging the project files in and see if that works. Oh, uh oh, oh, look at that. The Polygon asset has their own how-to about importing their stuff. You know what, I'm starting to love these guys. So apparently all I have to do is go over here, right-click the main assets folder and hit migrate. I mean, why not, why not just call it export? Ooh, look at that, we got zombies. Things are coming together. Moving objects and files to other files is a huge pain in the butt. I don't know why, but every time you do it, it just has to, it just has to recompile everything. All right, Unreal, so as far as asset management goes, so importing and moving files, I'm gonna give you a five out of 10. I, maybe I was doing some things wrong, but I found that they rubbed me the wrong way and it was just a tinge too annoying. All right, so I have zombies in the game. I have guns that are working, and I think I wanna make them shoot some lasers. I wanna get these zombies moving. So it looks like it's time to hop into blueprints and see what they're all about. First, I wanna hop into the gun and see how to get a cool laser beam going. So this is what's spawning the projectile. I figure I just gotta make my own projectile that's like glowy or smaller, like a laser beam and have it launch a little faster. Look at this emissive material I made for my little projectile laser. Look at that glow. Squashed it down and now look at it. It's a laser. Pew, pew. 
Next, I want to make my zombie, and the blueprint system seems pretty cool. All I have to do is choose a blueprint. They already have some pre-made ones for me, like this character, and it'll have all the things associated that you'd want with a character. I just have to slap a zombie model on it. It already has some tracking functionality. You can see that's its field of vision. It didn't take too long, but now my zombie is moving. He's not animated, but he's moving. I'm gonna go ahead and steal some animations from McSammo, and you know what? I think I'm gonna steal this skin too, because I'm in Unreal. I want a more realistic looking zombie. Okay, I followed a tutorial and I got this working. This blends the animations together based on the speed. Also have this kind of AI functionality that I followed in the tutorial. I'll be honest, this is becoming too much for my tiny brain to process in just 24 hours. Hey, it's not perfect, but you know what? It's a start. So I have done some programming and I've used blueprints for animation as well. And ultimately, do I like blueprints? Kind of. I think the way to visualize it is very cool, but where I don't like it is it starts to get a little tangle webby. I know you can keep it organized. Look at all these different things I can reference and do. Cool, and it's nice that I don't have to code, but the thing is I know how to code, and in, in the end, I prefer coding. Blueprints. You know what? 9 out of 10 on execution, but for the shrimp, I am just gonna say it's not for me. All right. I'm done waiting. I am gonna go do some lighting. And I'm gonna go look for some free assets that do it really well so I don't have to. It looks like Unreal gives out free assets every month, which is very nice of them. And I am gonna go ahead and try out this Slavic house. Yeah, that's nice. That's very pretty. Poo, and it is 6.6 .6 gigabytes. This is gonna take a minute. Oh yeah, this asset is the lighting dream that I always had of Unreal. And I think it's probably gonna fry my headset. Yep. Frame rates aren't good, this is choppy. I'm going to need to remove some things and hopefully get the frame rates up. Okay, I've chopped out a whole ton of things, but I'm gonna have to rebuild the lighting. Hopefully that won't take too long. Okay, it's still at 0%. I'm gonna go get something to eat and hopefully it'll be done when I get back. Well, it's done, but still choppy. It's not looking good. It was at this point that I would fall into a never ending cycle of playing with some lighting settings and then breaking the entire thing and rebaking it just so I can make it work in VR. I want you to know, I wasted a lot of time doing this. Unreal Lighting, 10 out of 10. My ability to use it, zero out of 10. So at this point, I have about two hours left and I am panicking because I wasted all my time playing with all the lightings and trying to make it work. I've decided just to slap a bunch of things together, turn the lights off, make it dark, make it scary, and then maybe play some rock music in the background and hopefully it looks cool. <laughs> Not right, pause it. All right, I, I screwed up. I spent too much time playing with the lightings and rebaking everything and I wasn't able to make a game, okay? I screwed up, I had 24 hours, what do you want out of me? All right, at least we learned something here. Even though I didn't make a game in 24 hours, I still got a really good tour of Unreal. I love the templates and the free assets that they give you. There's also things about the engine that just make sense, like the blueprints, such as characters that have all the attributes you'd expect a character have, like a health or a mesh or AI behavior. That's nice. The lighting, of course, is glorious. We all know this, but 24 hours definitely isn't enough time to master it. I also found out the things I didn't like, like the file system. Moving things is just annoying and although blueprints are cool and everything and it's just not for me i'm gonna stick with code unreal is just a tool to get a job done if you want to build a game with amazing lights and graphics then you should definitely play around with unreal honestly you should just play around with unreal just to expose yourself to other game engines for myself I'm sticking with Unity. As much as I love fancy lighting, I think I can get similar results in Unity and I don't really have to pay a cost of relearning a new engine. Hey, do you like how that light's turning on and off? Well, it's through this state pattern and I'm actually teaching that on my Patreon. Don't care about design patterns? Well then how about some spooky pumpkins just in time for spooky season that you can find on my Patreon too? Consider checking it out if you wanna help keep this channel alive. And to my current patrons, thank you, cause you are keeping this channel alive and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.